Ultra. The bottle flip. Or a lesson in experimental probability. Let's first talk about mathematical probability. Mathematical probability means we can calculate ahead of time the probability. You're all familiar with a coin toss. There's one head and one tail on a coin. And because of that, we can calculate the probability of getting heads or tails before we even throw the coin. Or anything having to do with a deck of cards is easy to calculate because we know the number of cards in a deck, for example. But we know more than that. We also know how many cards there are in each suit. And we also know how many of each face card there are. This makes it easy to calculate more complicated things like the odds of getting three of a kind on the first draw. Or even a odds of getting a full house on the first draw. And even though it's a very minute chance, the odds of drawing a royal flush on the first draw. We can calculate these things because we know all the numbers. But let's take something that we can't calculate ahead of time. An example of that is a popular item right now, something called the bottle flip. See, a bottle doesn't have a heads or a tails. It can land in a, so many different variations of positions, we can't calculate it ahead of time. We have to use something called experimental probability. Experimental probability means we're just going to throw the bottle a number of times and see how many times it lands upright. We're going to do this time and time again, and it might be many attempts and many failures until finally the bottle lands in the position that you're looking for. This is called a success. But we don't want to stop after one success. We make a table of our attempts. We keep track of our successes. But even after you get the first success, you want to do a lot more attempts because really you need an average experimental probability to be valid. So you keep track of all your attempts, all your successes, maybe 100 attempts, maybe 200 attempts or more. When you're done, total up the number of attempts, total up the number of successes. Now write your experimental probability as the number of successes out of the number of attempts, like 2 out of 15 in this case. If you want, you can divide through by the number of successes to generalize it, such as 1 out of 7.5 if you divide by 2. This is how we calculate experimental probability. What I'd like you to do now is take the bottle flip challenge, write in your generalized version of experimental probability, how many attempts did it take for you, on average, to land the bottle upright, and write it in the comment section, and we'll compare them. We may even give out winners for the best score. If you haven't already, please take a second, click on the icon in the corner of the screen, and subscribe to the MathCat channel so you can see new videos when they come out. And like this video, thank you for watching.